So to get on a tough day with Maybe the news I'll that came down, what, uh, what was your first reaction when you heard it? Um, I'm happy for him. You know, it's tough for us as a team, but at the same time, you know, he's a great man. He has a, he has a family. He has, he has kids. You know, he has responsibilities. And, you know, a coach's dream is to be a head coach. So I'm proud of him, and, and I wish him the best. He did say, he's coaching in the bowl game, is that correct? Well, I have no idea. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had talked to all you guys about what it meant to have him stay. <laughs> now it's the reverse of that. So, you know, how do you handle it now, and what do you think about going forward? Yeah, man up. You know, it's football to be played still. Mm-hmm. So we just got to put it in the back of our minds right now. Just wish him the best and, and do what we do. And sort of hope that they have faith that they get the right guy in here. Um, yeah, you know, we're just give God the will right now. You know, uh, we'll be fine regardless of whatever happens. You know, we're gonna stick together. Players play, coaches coach, so we'll be all right regardless. In what ways, Nikhil, do you feel like Coach Napier left his imprint on the program and on the offense? Um, it's all good. You know, personally, for me, you know, he helped me grow a lot as a man. So that's the imprint he left on me and, and into this program, you know. He taught us to work hard and Thanks for the when stuff gets yes, tough, yes. you know, just man up. You know, we're we're all men, play football, you know, if we're hurt, if we're if we're bruised up, you know, we gotta we gotta make it through practice and then it's the same thing with life, you know. We're gonna get thrown down sometimes and, and at times it feels like we can't get up but we can and, and that's what we're gonna do. Is that what this felt like with the news with Napier? Yeah, it was tough. Because I was I was expecting him to, to, to stay and and to be my coach for another year and I feel like I got knocked down a bit, but at the same time, you know, I, I always get back up and, and that's a man I always have respect for and I know he'll do a great job wherever he's going. Well, honestly, what was the vibe in practice today right after you heard the news? Same vibes, you know, every time we're on the football field, it's the same vibes. Regardless of what's going on off the field, once we get on the field, we, we, turn, it, we turn it up to a different tempo. How important is it that the Coach Likens will be coming back? Um, it means the world to me because he's, he's helped me so much um, in both aspects as a football player and as a man, um, just like Coach Napier did. So it's great to have him back at least. Would you like to see him get consideration for the OC job? I would. I would love to see that. Um, he's honestly the most hardworking man I've, I've ever met. I have, I've never met somebody that, that can come in here and, and regardless of what his emotions are or what he's feeling, he shows us the same energy every day, and, and he sacrifices a lot for us. You know, he sacrifices seeing his family. You know, it's a couple times, a lot throughout the season where I don't even think he got to see his kid awake throughout the whole week. So just to see how hard he works and, and everything he's put into his, this program already in just a year, I feel like he deserves that. We didn't chance to talk to Coach Edwards at all about this, and it's kind of the general. Moving, moving on to the next phase here. Um, I haven't got to talk to him personally yet. Uh, I'll be looking to do that within the next couple weeks. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. you Call it the best news since you've been in ASU a week ago. Mm-hmm. How, how do you feel? Is what it is. Sun's still gonna come up. Um, still, uh, I'm very, uh, very proud of him. You know, this is an opportunity he's been waiting for. I had a nice long talk with him this morning. Uh, it was emotional. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, people, uh, people, things happen in life for a reason. God makes us go through these obstacles in life, um, and He throws them at His toughest warriors, and, and not in hope, but knowing that He'll they'll overcome them. So uh, it's gonna be four and four years. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's a blessing I get to wake up every morning, and play this game. Um, at a university that I love, um, so uh, so you know I'm, I'm I'm really excited for him and his family and the opportunity that they have and uh, wish him the best of luck. You're making a smile when you say four and four years in a row. Difficult has it been one after another learning terminology like this? Yeah, I mean it has its challenges, but uh, you know you got to roll with the punches. You know sometimes you're gonna get hit, it's gonna knock you down, but you're gonna get back up. And uh, you know, I look at this as a, uh, I look at this as, a, as another challenge. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm ready, man. I got one more year in me, and uh, I'm gonna give my all to this, to this team, to this university, because that's what, that's what it means the world to me. 
um, and you know, for my future, you know, it's just it's all in God's hands. So you know, I'm uh, just put my head down, go to work every day, like you know, like nothing ever happened because that's, that's what this team needs me to do. Manny, in what ways did Coach Napier leave an imprint on you, on the offense, and on the program? Well, I learned a lot of ball from him. Um, you know, so much different things about learning how to watch film the proper way. Um, you know, defenses. You know, all the little cliche things that, that really do make a difference. Um, he taught me how to lead better. Um, he's a tremendous leader, which is why I think that this is a, a, a great opportunity for him to take over a, a program like that, um, and you know, hopefully get it going. Um, so, uh, you know, I've learned so much from him. And like I said, you know, there's nothing negative coming from me. Um, obviously, going into my senior year, I wish he would have had one more year with me. But you know, at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for your family, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just make it happen. Mm -hmm. Is it your understanding he'll coach the ball game? Uh, no idea. No idea. No idea. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We gonna play the game regardless. How difficult has it been? How difficult has it been just having three different guys in three years and now a fourth in four years? It happens. It happens. It's the nature of the game. I'm uh, fortunate to, to learn different different offenses. I'm fortunate to learn uh, different philosophies. Um, and, you know, I think it only benefit me at the end of the day. Um, it's rough. Yeah, you know, you... Uh, you get emotionally attached, and, and uh, you know you build a relationship with guys, um, and then one second is there, and the next is not. So uh, you know it just it happened. It happened. You know you gotta. I've learned, man, in this in this life that we live, if you uh, if you take any day and you think negatively, you lost that day. And so you know I don't want to lose any day. So make sure your, it's all good. What would your thoughts be on Rob Likens becoming the offensive coordinator? I would love it. I would love it. He's somebody who brings a different level of passion to this game. Um, he's somebody who comes with intensity every day at practice, every day in the film room. So, um, you know, whoever they bring in, whoever his name BOC, um, they got my they got my support 100% because uh, we got I got I got one, like I said I got one more year, so I got to make it happen. Would you any that Billy came and spoke to you and sat down and had that conversation with you this morning? Yeah, I mean, I think it was really a respect thing. Um, you know, as a football coach, you know, some guys just leave, um, you know, shoot your tanks or something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought it was very respectable for him to, for our teammate this morning, put me in the office. Um, we shared our moment. Like I said, it was very emotional, uh, especially for me because I was so emotionally attached to him as a coach um, and as a, as a leader. Um, so, uh, it sucks, man, but it happens. To have those two guys who everybody thought was going to be here and Brandon Mitchell might be here to not have those guys now, how do you, how do you keep the, the train on the tracks here? This is the reason why this university isn't somebody's name. It's Arizona State University, and, uh, and that's, that's why I play for. I play for Arizona State University. Um, I play for the guys that are in this locker room every day. Um, I play for the last name that's on my back, and I play for the guys that are Oh man, they run a lot of stretch. They got some good athletes, big receivers, and they got a quarterback um, who's pretty decent on his feet and he can throw the ball. I mean, they're pretty good at what they do. They play hard. And that's going to be better for us. What are some of the things that you guys can have to do yeah. as a defense to, to make sure that you guys are able to stand with them and to get up to the house and try to win? Number one, stop the run. Uh, no explosive plays. And uh, yeah, stop the run. That's the initial thing. Stop the run, make a one dimension. When you, uh, when, you know, five, ten years from now, when uh, several fans look back at the career, uh, uh, your career, what do you want them to remember? I hope they look back and see the impact that I made within the team. <laughs> So, Deshaun, I mean, I know as a senior, um, you know, you weren't going to be coached under uh, Phil Bennett anyway. But, but, but the fact that he's leaving, I mean, just, just uh, you know, share your feelings on that. Um, I mean, Coach Bennett, man, I feel like he, he gave it all to this program. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his year here, um, he, he definitely left his mark with the players that he coached. And uh, I'm definitely, there's definitely no hard feelings. I don't feel any, any bad thing about it. I mean, he, I mean, he has to, he has to do what he has to do. You know what I mean? And, uh, we can't, we can't look down upon him for that. Um, but what we can do is look at the things that he has done while he was here and uh, the lessons that he taught us and take with us. I know I've been there on the other side of the ball. Just the news of Billy Napier. I mean, he really has to have ripple effects on the defense too. I mean, with all honesty, did practice have a different vibe? Just getting that news so fresh right before it started. Yeah, yeah, I think it had a different. Vibe.
vibe. You know what I'm saying? I think I had a different vibe. But probably offensively, I mean, there's a lot of changes going on. You know what I'm saying? But it's a part of the process. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? And um, it really is what it is. I, mean, I know, like, uh, Billy Napier, he has some uh, some close relationships with the guys in the offense and even some guys on the defense. And, I mean, it's hurt for some guys that he's gone. You know what I mean? But uh, it's a part of the business. We got to be able to adjust.